How you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling great. I think we're very prepared as a team. Um, one, of the, one of the most prepared we've been like going into a season. So, you know, you get a get a chance to kick out versus a great opponent, and the number two team in the nation. So I'm really excited for us to showcase what we can do. How have you kept from getting too much into the hype? I mean, it's a season open you're excited for anyways, but there's this hype, there's this disrespect talk, there's cupcake talk. How have you guys kind of been able to just kind of focus on the task? Nah, coach, coach preaches uh, to, you know, not not to get into the noise, and that's really what we do. We just don't listen to the outside noise. We got to stick to what we do as a program. Stick to our preparation. You know, you can't over prepare. You just got to do what you do. Stick to the script and follow his role. You know, follow his lead, and that's what we do. So you know, just let all that stuff go in one ear, out the other. Don't feed into it. Don't buy into it, and definitely don't do it yourself. So you know, we we prepare for big these big time games like we've been in many of them, but. This is by far one of the biggest, but you know we're prepared for the situation. Biggest challenge you see for you guys that you're going to be facing Saturday? Um, probably so. Since I've been here, it's probably one of the better teams I'll probably face against. What's their strength that you see that you're going to have to stop? Oh, uh, they're just a great team, great locker room. You know those guys. It's, they they play together. You know, I, I, we played a lot of talented teams. I'm going to play a lot of talented players, but I feel like Michigan. You know, they just play together as a, play together as a team, and it's going to be, you know, a real it's going to be a great opportunity for us to knock them off. Jeremy, how being a leader on the team, how have you kind of kept the younger kids focused, guys focused this week and last week preparing for their first game? Uh, really just trying to lead by example, not only like being a vocal leader, you know, you just got to lead by example. You got to go out there and practice 100% every day, give everything you've got, and just hope those guys, you know, buy into the process, buy into the locker room and the tradition, the brotherhood that we have, and, you know, just, just follow, follow our way. Their O line gets a lot of hype, deservedly so. But as a defensive front player, you kind of relish this challenge, kind of prove how good you guys are. Almost oh, definitely, you know, uh, I like trying not to, you know, be into the hype. But you always hear like, if you want to like really showcase what you can do at the next level, this will be the game to do it. You know, they supposedly got seven guys that's going to get drafted, but only five of the field at the same at one time. So it's like it's crazy when you hear, hear those kind of stats. But you know, just. You know, really, really take this game, really showcase my talents, you know, and really try to, you know, show the world what I can do. You mentioned in the beginning, you, you feel like this is one of the more prepared teams you've been on. Like, what, what makes you feel like that? What have you seen in practice that makes mm -hmm. you feel like that? Just just the, the maturity in the locker room now. Like, you got a lot of guys that's played a lot of snaps, a lot of ball games, you know. We're just getting older and older as a team. Like, our, our front four on the defensive line, you know, we just a lot of got a lot of experience and a lot of guys that got a lot of ball games. So, you know, last year or two years ago, you know, you maybe couldn't call stuff out, but now we're just calling stuff out left and right, you know, just know what's coming, being more vocal, being able to communicate at a better level. So just just having a lot of experience on the defensive side of the ball, I feel like we're, we're very prepared. How excited are you guys to go up against somebody not your teammate and go out there? We talked to Julius, oh, yeah. and, we talked to Julius in, the fall, in fall camp and his frustrations not being able to get 100%, especially yeah. like with tackling and stuff. So how excited are you guys to go yeah, it's, there? It's, 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 it's it's definitely exciting, you know what I'm saying? We don't need to, especially for me, because, like, my biggest thing is trying to get to the quarterback and sack the quarterback, but Coach Houston, if you touch his quarterback, he will lose his mind. So, you know, finally being able to, like, get to the quarterback and actually, like, sack him or tackle him or something if if I get the opportunity. But, like, that's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. Last week during the team, you've already faced Michigan's offense for a whole week. Do you feel more prepared going into this game week than you would have done one? Or you only got one week to prepare? Um, yeah, you know, being able to prepare more than one week for a team always helps us out tremendously. Like, even like when we when we prepare for Navy, you know, you got to prepare for those guys all year long. So, being able to prepare for multiple weeks, you know, getting to see their looks, getting to study their film all off season. Like even last year when we played NC State, like we we had those guys down to a T. So, hoping that we can get that same outcome this year. We talk about this defense having the experience back. I know in the past, Coach Houston, when he gets an experienced defense, likes to do aggressive things. He wants his defense to be almost a scoring defense. Is it kind of feel like you're ready, this defense is ready to make that next step in that in that program? Oh, yes, sir, most definitely. You know, Coach Harry has a lot of trust in us. You know, he has two new linebackers himself, but those guys are very smart, very talented guys that's been waiting their turn. And, you know, once once he starts to believe in us, trust in us, you see him open up that playbook. So, really looking forward to go out there and playing for him this fall. You've bounced around in your positions a little bit. How are you liking your new role this year? Oh, I'm loving it. You know, I just came in as a tight end and <laughs> just did what I had to do to see the field, but now I'm playing. <laughs> now I'm playing outside linebacker. It's just amazing, and coach is trying to find a way, you know, to put me in different situations, get the best players on the field at all times. So I might be bouncing around inside the box, outside the box, to the field, to the boundary, just just trying to do whatever to help the team win. What do you guys have to do this week to avoid that wall when you kind of like come into the stadium, come into the, this game, and 
get to just playing football? I know one thing we're going to do for sure is when we get to Michigan on that Friday, we're going to go ahead and go to the facility, check it out, you know, so when we get down on Saturday, we're not like anxious and like not amazed. We already, you know, got the jitters out of the way, you know, because I mean, it is none other. Like this, it's a big stadium. It's something like none of us have ever seen before. So just go ahead and knock the jitters out and just prepare and have a word for any other game. All right, good luck. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, better tight end, Joe Sampson or Jeremy